Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is the commutative property of multiplication. This is our multiplication table, and you may have already noticed that some products are on the chart in more than one place. For example, 3 times 8 is equal to 24 is shown here, but 3 times 8 is 24 is also shown here. And that has to do with the commutative property of multiplication, which we're going to examine in this video. Here's something that you may never have noticed on the chart before. Watch as I move the products across the chart. In this video, I'll explain why this happens and why this works in the commutative property of multiplication. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. That is a very important mathematical idea. But here is an even more important mathematical idea. 3 times 5 is equal to 5 times 3. The order of the factors does not change the value. 3 times 5 is equal to 5 times 3. 3 times 5 is equal to 15, so 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Here's a picture of 15. This is one group of 15. I can break the 15 apart into three groups of five, and it's still equal to 15. I can put it back together, and I can also break it apart into five groups of three, and it's still equal to 15. So I can write three times five is equal to 15, and I can also write that five times three is equal to 15. Sometimes you'll see it written like this, three times five, is equal to 15. And whenever we see this, we know that at the same time we can think of this as 5 times 3 is equal to 15 because of the commutative property of multiplication. The order of the factors does not change the product. Here's a group of 6. This is one group of 6. We can break this apart into two groups of 3, or we can break this apart into three groups of 2. Either way, the total is still 6. So we can write 2 times 3 is equal to 6, or we could also write that 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Sometimes you may see that represented like this. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And whenever you do, you know that what is also true is that 3 times 2 is equal to 6. On the multiplication table, we can see 3 times 2 is equal to 6 here, and we can also see it here. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So that idea, that relationship, appears on the chart in two places. I'll quickly review some ideas that we've learned. We discussed the identity property of multiplication. I'll remove those. We discussed relating multiplication to place value. Let me remove those. And now we're going to take a closer look at the commutative property of multiplication. Notice that 2 times 3 is equal to 6 is shown in two places on the chart. So I'm going to move the red 6 on top of the black 6, like this. Also, the relationship between 2, 4, and 8 is shown on two places on the chart. So I'm going to move the red 8 on top of the black 8. Here's another example. The relationship between 2, 5, and 10 is shown on two places on the chart. So I'm going to move the red 10 on top of the black 10. I'm also going to move the 12, the 14, the 16, and the 18, because all of those relationships are shown on two places on the chart. Next, I'm going to move all of these multiples of 3, all of these multiples of 4, these multiples of 5, these multiples of 6, these multiples of 7, and this multiple of 8. I can place these back. But according to the commutative property of multiplication, we can start to see how there are several relationships on the chart which are actually shown in more than one place. Here's another example, and I'll return to this chart with the red on it in the next video. In the next video, we're going to combine all three of the properties of multiplication that we've looked at so far to help us take a giant step forward in learning about multiplication facts and multiplication concepts. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is the Commutative Property of Multiplication.